Harvard scientists have a plan to combat global warming. But this plan might be a bit out of the ordinary and definitely not what you would expect. I mean, scientists literally want to dim the sun to combat global warming. You know, because humans just can't stop using fossil fuels. Welcome back to another IO video. I'm Charlotte Dore, but you knew that already. And if you didn't, hey, nice to meet ya. Hit that subscribe for daily news stories that are actually interesting and follow the IO team on Instagram. Despite what some people might say, most scientists agree that our planet is warming. Experts say that in 2019, the world will approach record breaking temperatures. Of course, a huge reason why the planet is heating up is the human reluctance to move away from fossil fuels. The average global temperature in 2019 is expected to be an entire 1.1 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels. This is due to both human-driven climate change and El Nino in the Pacific. Of course, there are some countries who are incorporating new methods to combat climate change. In Sweden, for example, they've already started implementing electric highways, where instead of cars burning fossil fuels and putting those fuels into the atmosphere, cars will charge automatically on electric electric highways. You're never going to have to stop for gas again. But not every place on earth can afford to do such a thing and many governments either can't or won't implement changes like this anytime soon. So what's another solution? Block the sun, the thing that directly heats our planet to prevent rising global temperatures. Scientists want to dim the sun by putting sun reflecting atmospheric particles into the atmosphere. There have been some critics that say that artificially reflecting sunlight could cause drastic unintended consequences. But according to a new study, scientists want to spray chemicals into the atmosphere in an effort to dim the sun, and these scientists believe that it could work safely. The idea is being heavily researched. Over 100 papers have examined the possibilities. The new paper crafted a simulation that attempts to demonstrate what would happen if CO2 emissions in the atmosphere were doubled, and if geoengineering was used to reduce half the temperature increase, resulting from a buildup of carbon in the atmosphere. What the simulation showed was that this method could cool the planet without causing extreme rainfall or worsening hurricanes, which are issues that are plaguing some areas of the planet as a result of our warming globe. Here were the stats from the study. 85% of the increase in the intensity of hurricanes would be countered by solar geoengineering. According to researcher Peter Irvine from the Harvard John A. Paulson School of Engineering and Applied Sciences, we find a large reduction in climate risk overall without significantly greater risks to any region. Despite the simulation, the scientists do recognize that we don't know a lot about how putting a bunch of chemicals in the atmosphere will affect the globe, as well as inhabitants that live on the surface of the earth, animals, plants and people. For this reason, Harvard scientists are launching the world's biggest geoengineering study, and they are going to conduct field experiments this year to better figure out how the light reflecting chemicals will behave in our atmosphere. These findings were reported in the journal Nature Climate Change. What do you think? Should we dim that sun? Let me know in those comments below. For now, I'm going to wrap up this video by responding to some comments from our video. Drone captures footage of the door to hell. Hobo Place said, why does Johnny always look like he's about to sneeze? I am not sure, but now that you mention it, you are totally right. I totally see why you said that. It's my Johnny impression. I'm the Bacon King Johnny Rogers. Frankie Fernandez said, didn't you already cover this like two to three times already? I'm pretty sure it was a year ago or a couple years ago. As far as I know, we haven't talked about the literal door to hell crater. I used a photo of it in a thumbnail a few months ago, but the picture was totally unrelated to the story. Christina said, I would want to see lava up close. I don't know why, but I do. I'm right there with you, Christine. Lava looks so pretty. Flowing lava kind of reminds me of like shiny slime ASMR. Turtles are awesome said, Charlotte, weird question, but can you dab in the side camera? Ask and you shall receive. Mm, God damn it. Happy now? Nobody said, Charlotte, I'm not getting your video notifications. Do you know why? I don't. <laughs> Sometimes notifications are slow. It could be that YouTube is broken. Maybe you just need to click that bell one more time just to make sure that you're subscribed to notifications. But uh, if you want to keep watching IO, we put together a playlist for you that's right over here. And obviously, if you enjoyed this video, you should leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications so I can see you in a future IO video.